Hello people of YouTube, Sir Slayer, and today we're going to be taking on the fourth campaign of Left 4 Dead 2 campaign, Swamp Fever, on Expert as Rochelle. Let's get started. So Swamp Fever is probably the easiest of the seven uh, Left 4 Dead 2 campaigns. The one that's directly above it would probably be Dark Carnival, except for the fourth chapter of that, which is absolutely insane. It's unlikely that I'll get down once if... Well, have to restart once if AI actually works around works this time, and the special infected don't spawn in a few key Nick, what locations. The hell? You shot the pilot. Well, trying he to think of one. Uh, the main one that I'm concerned now, about true, is true, the area in the zombie, second chapter, just after the plane, because there is a there are two blind zombie, corners you have to run through, which it's almost certain death unless you have quite a bit of luck. Bob. Trying to think if there's uh, I can't really think of an alternate route. You can swing around to the right, but then you have to do at least one blind corner. So you always just have Defib to do with the blind here. corner. And it's coming here. There's always Deploying special ammo. Rounds. I don't take yes. explosive oh, ammo. Cool. Ever. It's just a good rule of fire. Because every time I do seem to grab it, I always end up killing or doing more. <laughs> There was a smoke over here, and I wanted dead. Oh man, that's unlucky. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Should I grab the Molotov? I'm gonna go ahead and clear this area around here. Clear the other chance of not getting lost. Alright, after it throws, it always takes a few seconds to. Uh, try to bait out an attack, oh, but shit. I don't failed. Know. Up we go. I owe you one. Right. Hey, thanks. You. Now we gotta head back over to the store. Okay. I saw some pills in there. Oh, it might yeah. be. Well, no, there was already explosive ammo over in the shed that we were, that we just went through, or by. I can there's, use these so pills. So it's rather unlikely there's gonna be explosive ammo in here. There's always an axe there. Alright, gotta check all of these houses. Awesome. That's really good. Grabbing a shot! Hey, we might need this. That was one of our pumps. Reloading! Now we just need to find a bio bomb. The adrenaline shot isn't necessary, but it's a nice thing. Lots of pills today. Grabbing a pipe bomb. Oh, shit. Nothing. Reloading. Except for that thing. Right, let's, and then this building right here. Two floors. Two. There's a really good chance of there being a bio bomb upstairs. If there hasn't been one already. Reloading. And... Nah. No such Grab an incendiary ammo. Damn, that's too bad. I'd say that well, like right. nine times out of ten. There's a piece of a bio bomb. But that's alright, pipe bombs aren't too much worse. Anyways, check out the area. Yeah, that'll help. Everyone else already has a quick heal, they so. They actually have to put a sign up Reloading. to stop people from swimming in the game. Yeah. You gotta call that boat over if here. Uh, it's start running. Barry's coming. If we had a bio bomb, we could have waited a little while longer. Because they're gonna be three waves. They're coming! Alright, that's not gonna work. You need that for a bio bomb. Grenade! Now we don't have to use up our pipe. Reload. Wait for it. Go. Now we're basically uh, yeah. Charger man should break the wall. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Right. Yeah, we're off. Also note that the fire from these, uh, from Molotovs at least, expand over time. So if you were just standing on the edge of it, like I was right there, it would have increased if it was a long time, but thankfully this time we're going to just the gas here. Oh, the 
Generally speaking, gas games are back in the office. Because they don't seem to increase the radius over time. No. Well, I should take that back. Molotovs are better because they slow down tanks and witches a considerable amount, somewhere in the range of 30 to 50 percent in some cases. And depending upon like what the arena is like that you're fighting. Everyone in. on the boat! One more way. Don't go well, quite yet. I didn't get you. No, 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 no. Sorry. Okay, never mind. There's gonna be one more wave, but we shouldn't have a problem. Okay, get on the ferry. Oh, yes, there were. There were there. Let's go, everybody, on the boat. No. All right. All right, grab another shoddy. Get on the boat. Uh, I wish you just despawned it. Boat's here. You're gonna have to okay. do better than that to kill me. Get on the boat! Oh, Nick. Okay. Number infected. So, over there. um. Do you guys know anything about the swamps? Oh, yeah, I know plenty about swamps. Full of bugs, gators, snakes, and zombies. Yeah, yeah yes. try and bait them to suicide into the water. Wait, where's... Ah, I can see Alistair. And he's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> I love when they do that. Okay, here we are. Reload, reload. Those are to go and use that right off the bat. We've got a lot of things and a lot of places. None of which are good. Still a bunch of Could get bad here. There was a throw some sort of quick deal item over on these benches. Let's go check. The tank's already dead. Because, well, if he wasn't already killed, then he was going to spawn. Leave that with your own. He was going to spawn either in this location or over in the next one, just past the little building with a, a hunting or sniper left? rifle in it. Speaking of which, sniper rifles and hunting rifles are extremely effective here. Oh, there's that battle bomb I was looking here. for. God. All right. There's a really good chance of there being a lot of different kinds of ammo in here. Incendiary explosion. Yeah. Oh, maybe even. Okay. I like to see you like this. Yeah, it's not gonna kill him fast enough. Yeah, let me help you. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be maybe. It's awesome. Maybe some laser sights. No. Explosive rounds here. Guys, hold on to him. Do not want to get hit by that thing. There's a ladder right there. No! Get him. Just hit him, please. <coughs> they were firing right over his head, not at him. Nick's really Reloading. Alright, this is where we need to explosive Deploying explosive rounds. rounds. Little stringed instrument. Alright, that gives us enough time to make it to the next weapon. We run out faster. We have guns here! That is the magic of our bombs. What the fuck was he okay, why would he give him the coach? Literally at 1 HP and he gets him away to coach. What a champion. Okay, this was a mistake. Don't open that. There's a chance to the survive it'll spawn in there. Like the ones that are on the brink of death of my team. Also, these logs and trees around here are completely resistant to wall damage. I mean, you can't shoot through them to kill infected. Some help! Okay. 
you're messed up. If you don't get yourself healed up, that's it. Hey. Alright, black and white, nice. but I got my movement speed now. I'm just considering downing myself anyways. So this will say. I'm grabbing a Molotov. Sure. Alright. Pretty much in the clear. That's the safe room over there. I am about to die. Yeah. Into the drainage ditch. Stop, guys. I have to heal. This is a really good place for holding. Uh, you're gonna go healing at the last moment. Serious. Woo. Stand still. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up. All right, now I'm back. What the hell are you doing? Stop moving so I can heal you. It takes a solid 20 seconds to heal up all of your team members. Oh yeah. Because it takes about five Shit. seconds each, so it probably rounds up to about 30 so when you take you. into account how much time it takes to do other things, run around to your teammates, etc. Shit, we are all right. So it's definitely good to do it now. Even if we don't have health kits for this next level, it's not too big a deal. There are lots of quick heal items. Like, a lot. Probably more than any other chapter in the game, except for... Uh, the second... Yeah, it'll be the second chapter of the Dark Carnival hymn. I'm forced to turn to people living in the swamp to help them get out of the city. I don't think you did a good job, right? Why, yes. I'm reloading. Alright. On this level, you're going to be encountering a mud man. Reloading! Think? No? Hey, I'm reloading! No, never mind. I thought I heard the special instrument. Special noise that occurs. It's different for every campaign. Anyways. This area, this Reloading. chapter of the campaign, it has a special variant on the regular defective. Grenade! They're called Mudman, according to the survivors. And basically, they run at you on all fours. Damn. Oh, damn it. I don't think witches can get inside of safe, um, safe rooms. And frankly, if I Reload. never find out, I'll be Kill all the, the happier. Got two solid bunny hops there. Uh, we need to get going. Yeah, that's a Reload. Sorry, team. No, 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 from the door. Come on, come on, Alright, let's just go. This should be too long. Keep moving. Oh, no. So I'm gonna shoot my teammates. There's a lot of damage on this thing. Like you can easily down a teammate from full health to right down to zero by just shooting him once with a shotgun in the meat and the chest. Yeah, that choke one right there is terrible to be stuck inside. Reloading! Because he reduced his ability. There are lots of special infected with a team to hide in the bushes. This was regular infected. There's a witch around there, I didn't even see her. Reload! Hello! Grabbing a jar of puke! Ellis all the way! Yep. Weapons over here! It's usually a lot of quick heal. I only got one though. That's better. I owe you one. Reloading! Sure. Grabbing a shot. Oh, I didn't mention it. If they do manage to hit you, then they'll splutter mud all over your screen. Similar to if you have a chainsaw or some other gore gore creating weapon that will splatter blood all over your screen. It's basically the same. Reloading! Heads up! Auto shot here! Awesome. Got a bio bomb. Ready. Once and we open the door, this alarm will sound. Alright. What do you want to do? Throw it out to the side, use your gun on the shot, and just run. Got a spit of the spawn. That's the absolute ideal spawn. I got these two. Realize there's a hunter. No, 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 no. If it's not a hunter, a jockey, or a smoker, it's bound to be a spitter or a boomer. Grabbing a shot. Which is definitely the ideal infected right there. Grabbing incendiary ammo. Teammates are way the hell behind, but that's not too big a deal. Fire time. Because we got health packs, good weapons, 
Magnum here. Magnum too. Pills for me. Yeah, I want a dragon shot. Uh, can we get going? For sure. Hell yeah. That's another one. Yeah. Can use the pills here. <laughs> He's talking about how bad he is, and yet he doesn't take the health right next to him. Not sure if that's ignorance or just. I don't know. Chivalry? I don't know, maybe wanted Ellis to take them. Because Nick would, according to what I've read online, Nick seems to be in love with Ellis. Pipe bomb! Alright, pipe bomb. Chances are we're gonna have to fight a tank on this level. A shot. He'll be right up ahead. If I go, you guys are gonna miss me. Yeah. He has a shot. Give it to Ellis, man. So many Weapons quick over here. Like I said, lots of quick heal on this level. Pipe bomb. Gotta use it. Pipe bomb out. I like grenades and CSGO. Incendiary ammo here. I like grenades and CSGO. They're gonna use grenades to be active as soon as they throw them. Throwing a pipe bomb. Meaning that they can blow up in the air if you're not careful. Ah! Excuse me! Sorry! Well, at least for pipe bombs, that is. Sure. I'm not uh, dead yet. Should I heal them? Stop squirming. Hey, I'm trap. gonna heal you. Okay. Usually some good stuff. I guess there isn't a tank. There might be one right in front of the safe room, which would be just fine. Hold up, y'all. I'm going to no, heal your there's no tank. All right. That means we're going to have to deal with our next way. level. Hey, yo! Hello? We can get through up here. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if he spawned inside of the safe room? I think there's a level where he does that. What a level that would be. Get inside! Stop moving so I can heal you. Alright. Didn't take hardly any damage that time around. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was oh a good yeah. Level. Take a drink. So you don't realize just how dehydrated you get talking so much until you actually go ahead and do it. It's vicious. Just like how raspy your throat can get. Run around on the, on the left hand side. Check for quick kill items in this room here. Troubles too. You're gonna run along this felled tree right here. Nah, try not to fall off like I just did. That's good. Stay in here and wait for your teammates. Adrenaline shot here. Nick's on the verge of getting a movement speed penalty, so Reloading. I probably need to heal him. I think that's him over no, there. Grab shot. Stop moving, so I. No! He was just about to use it. Woo! Kick ass! Alright, now they're in here. Nick already grabbed the adrenaline shot on the ground. Do you want to run the line? Right here inside. Just keep swimming. Back, sort of love it. You can't all games have as good ragdoll physics as left for death. I mean, I'm pretty sure the source engine is available to independent developers. Through this house. Pretty sure, at least. I would not have never made a game. Probably don't intend to. Grab an incendiary ammo. Drown shots. Health kits Let's start somewhere. some fires, people! Not sure where it went. Not this way. Put these health kits down, they just disappear. Reloading! Yes! Nope. Even if you did go over there, I'm not going to get it. Also, I think there's a horde that's about to spawn. Weapons over here! Yeah. You can tell because of the three string instrument and choice. Chains on here. There's always place. And the words about the spawn. Or does spawn, I'm not sure. Look out, By the way, the director spawns in fire and the path that is not to do with problem. Reloading! 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 Reloading!
Oh, I'm here today. Oh, oh, hey. you know my face. Thanks. I'm not sure if getting punched on by a jockey or a hunter immediately or if those scans. Now what the hell are these Reloaded. things? Alright, there's always a hunting rifle there, by the way. We have and guns tank, here! Right? Reloading! Yeah, right back. It's easier to hold them off at a distance. For a second I have to the bow bow to the so can't wall bank the trees, unfortunately. Wait, ever want to aim by the left of the is beyond me. Oh, Sorry, no, no, you didn't. Got him. Awesome. Reloading. Thanks, bro. All right, let me go grab another one of these things. I'll begin probably one of my favorite crescendo events in the game. It's just so derpy, I love it. Soon see why. You can check over there, but I've never found anything too good. Only way over good. is this bridge coming down. Only way over is this bridge coming down. Incoming! Right, wait for it. There. Okay. It's kind of glitched. I'm pretty sure now it does that. Oh no. Guilty. Sorry. No. I can't believe you can't have one of those. It's really good. It's really good. Kill like somewhere in the Reloading. two to three more, and then it'll only do a fraction of their health. So if you climb up, give me an easy shot. That's just luck. Reloading. Oh, man. Reloading. Reloading. Probably didn't need to do that. Anyways. We're nearly there. Damn. Here we go. I get to face those horses. Now it hits me. Bridge over there. It's a one way bridge. It's broken on the other half of it. Here you go. Let me hear you. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm reloading. And the exit reloading. is right up there. Leading to the final chapter of the campaign. Plantation House. Which is where the finale occurs. And it's about as dumb as the crescendo event we Nothing just went through. No health kit here. In the sense that there's absolutely no way to die on it. Reloading. At least for the hordes of, hordes of the event. The tanks are completely different. Tanks over. are never easy for any reason. Unless they accidentally suicide or wander too far and get despawned. Which has happened to me. It's, it's kind of confusing, but the second you feel like it's about to happen, you just sort of, you're like, yes, no more tank. God, I fought enough tanks today. Thank God for a break. Right. Reloading. Go all these things. Run around on the left hand side. Reloading. 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 Checking here for Molotovs. 
you don't have to worry about the other throwables. They're not as they're not nearly as important for what's gonna be coming up next. Damn, nothing. Damn, I found it. something, but reloading. Like I said, the hordes for the upcoming event aren't too dangerous. And I believe I've already mentioned this, but Molotov will slow down the tanks and pushes considerably. Even if they immediately anger them onto you. Let's go down the street. That's a nice feature add how they automatically anger onto you. Keep slowing. Newer players will put on items, which are a lot easier to use, like piping and pile bombs. It keeps the more advanced players more or less restricted to more bombs, so that way the newer players don't have to worry about getting tankers on to a tank or a witch. Honestly, the two boss infected aren't too terrifying, if you have a good movement speed and not to run away from them. Him scariest thing a little bit. Bile jar right, here. Two Molotovs. Couldn't be better. Grabbing a Molotov. Well, location now, so at least. Adrenaline shot here. There's usually Reloading. a pill bottle here, but no such luck. Anyways. Cover me. I'm going to patch myself up. You always want to run over here and grab yourself a right. adrenaline shot. I don't know why I keep hesitating. Nothing in there. Now, there are a few places where your little survival area is going to be. Oh, sweet. There are two more Molotovs. Hey, look out! Awesome. Those are going to be huge. Shot you want to break those railings? Drop down here. You don't take any fall damage if you land on those railings, so make sure you're not going to break them or get them broken. Oh no, you didn't! Anyways, you know, now that we're in the finale area, no more special infected will start Well, no more infected will start spawning. So you're free to clear up this area as much as you want. Not so keen on clearing it out in its entirety. Ammo here! Just the main areas. Anyways, that's where the ammo is. It can spawn on that crate, halfway down the path, or up in the area we already checked. Also remember where the Molotovs are. I'm going to be heading back there later. Look out now. Let's try the radio. Can anyone hear me? You can get talked to by Virgil, the boat guy from a later the later campaign. Right as soon as you talk to him twice, you're going to run back over to Get ready. Over onto the stairwell, beside where the adrenaline shots were. Okay. If you run up to the top of the stairs, the in, then the survivors, except for Ellis, who seems to be doing his bot thing down there, will run up onto the stairwell. Now the infected are either going to run through that doorway, that doorway, or that one up there. I mean, it's pretty rare for them to come up there. So you're pretty much set for the entirety of the horde. It's unlikely that you'll get hit. I had to say that. I had to say that. It's unlikely that you're going to get hit at least one, or even once. So we the survivors position themselves accordingly, which they're not. The infected will always take the most direct route to get to, like I said earlier. Which in this case is through those two doors, most likely that one if they spawn in the yard or over there if they spawn in the big hole in the roof up there. They're very likely to get caught down there. The boss is kind of like infected in the sense, they just want to get to as fast as possible, which is directly through the stairway right here, which I can't do. Anyways, just gonna sit here for about two minutes. Wow, I'm surprised that they can just run forward from the infected there. This is the first time ever. Wait for the room to shake. Okay, no mind. You came to the thing. That's good anyway. Alright, come on, coach. Come on, coach. Let's go. That was a good shot. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't even know what was going to say. Reloading. 
One of those animal instinct things, I guess. Right. Come on, come on, get your ass tank. up. Found a Molotov, but that's okay. The next tank wave is gonna have the two tanks in it, so definitely need to prepare for that. The health kits are outside, but why the hell? Gonna throw that there, buy some time. Go back here, grab the Molotov. Damn, cut us off. Alright, now we gotta position ourselves on the stairwell again. Two of them are doing it this time. That's not good. Alright. Thankfully that camp is implemented where they just start to look Yep. Can hold on to my adrenaline shot for the time being. Here, another tank. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's getting close. Alright, there's a Molotov over there, I remember. Ah, oh, Jesus. So close. This is why we grabbed the second Molotov. Because now we can just kite him around the giant maze of uh, shrub maze. Whoa, that road. Oh, what? Who's the one up there? Wow, what a champion. It's incredible. Incredibly annoying. Why, yes. Sure. That doesn't work, but something. Awesome, all the bots are still alive. That's one of the tanks. Give it to Nick. Don't give it to me, give it to Nick. I should just use him to heal me. Alright, he's gonna be dead here shortly. Healing! I think that's about the Alright, that's one of the one dead for Nick Mace. Died once in the second wave, but that's it. One death for a whole campaign on expert is not too bad. I'm gonna pack myself up. There you have it. It's a Swamp Fever campaign. Up next is the Hard Rain. It's the fifth campaign. Left for Dead 2 campaigns. Same as always. Expert mode, Rochelle, stock bots. And it's definitely considerably harder than this one.